sweets are life. Definitely way too many sweets. Just so good. Hi my beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel. How is everybody doing? I'm so sorry I've been a little bit MIA on like Instagram stories and stuff lately. Um, a lot's been going on. No point giving you a life update because I don't know what is going on in my life right now. But the best way to distract myself from all the problems in life is makeup. <laughs> if you would have watched my latest Blogmail video, you will know that I got sent a lot of amazing new beauty launches. So I'm going to be testing out some new lip products in this video. So neon lips, glitter lips new plumping lip balm and we have lip foils as well so I'm going to be testing out all the different kind of new formulas and stuff super exciting if you do want to comment as you are watching them please do in the comments below and let me know what your favorite products are and let's get into the video okay first product I'm going to show you is this now this is a lip balm I have been using for the past week and I have been loving it. I did put this on my Instagram stories. This is the Buxom Power Plump Lip Balm in the Big O. So these are tingling plumping lip balms. They are super jumbo. Look at the size of that and they have all different colours. So I'm going to show you what the Big O looks like because it's just a really beautiful pink that just enhances your natural lip colour. This is so good for like day to day, if you just want to quickly put something on, it's going to give you that natural pink glow but also the plumpness as well and I love that they are minty. So that's the big O. I am going to try out some of the other shades in this video because I haven't tried these out yet so let's see what colours we've got. Now what I'm sad about is this is the most beautiful packaging ever of the big O shade then the other shades are in black packaging, which I'm really confused at and a little bit upset because I think if they were all in these baby pink chubby sticks, I think they'd look so gorgeous as a collection. But obviously that's just packaging. It doesn't actually matter what it looks like, does it? It matters what it looks like on you. <laughs> so yeah, when it does kind of rub off and dry down, you can see it just gives me an enhanced like natural lip look. So let's try this one, which is in the shade glowing it's more of a tan bronzy shade it's quite cute actually because it's not a nude really it's still got that pink coming through it but it's more of a bronzy tone this will just be perfect for the beach of a holiday i'm definitely going to take these away with me the one i'm intrigued about is this one it's called fiery it's a bright red but how red is this going to come out okay actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. I thought it would just give like a, a rouge kind of tint but this is a good amount of pigment. I really like that. I wasn't expecting to like that as much as I do. I'm just gonna press it in and see what it looks like. Sometimes you want a red but you don't want the maintenance of like a proper intense red lipstick. This is like the best of both worlds. It's like a low maintenance red. A red that you can wear and you don't really need to worry about. Let's go with the brand new NYX Lip Lingerie Glitters. Very excited that they have new formulations in the NYX Lip Lingerie. So it's now not just matte. You can get it in glosses, you can get it in shimmers and they have glitters as well. So of course I was just more instantly drawn to the glitters. I reckon these three shades are the ones that I'd be more drawn to. Going with this shade, this shade is called Shy and it looks like a really pretty peachy, very light pink. I'm not sure like what a glitter effect is gonna look like. Oh my god, they smell unreal. They smell so good. Now when I thought of glitter, I thought that it just was going to be like really uncomfortable to wear. This is gliding on like a normal lip gloss would. It was very, very comfortable on the lip. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's glitter. It doesn't look like you've put glitter on your lips, but I guess that's never going to be comfortable to wear, is it? So this is a really intense shimmer. So you can see the shine and the glisten that you've got there this on the beach, shimmering in the sunlight, yes! I feel like this colour's probably a little bit too light for me. Let's go in with the next one. So this is in the shade Sable, which is more of an ambery, bronzy gold. As I'm taking it off, it now does look like glitter. I can, quite hard to get off. 
it's not an attractive face does it I feel like I'm gonna love this shade oh just the wand the formula the scent so nice this is unreal fully in love with the shade I think it's gorgeous especially when you've got like a really bronzy makeup look on it feels beautiful on the lips I mean I can definitely see why they're calling it a glitter rather than a shimmer because it definitely is more of an impact than a shimmer you can like see all the little particles of shimmer in the lip gloss so yeah it's really good rather than taking that off I'm just gonna load it up with this color which is Euro Trash and it's more of like a red bronze love that oh, I don't know what's my favorite it would be out of these two finish on that is so cool next we have the Lottie London lip foils now when I saw this I was like huh lip foils what does that mean like literally the amount of textures coming out in lip glosses is unbelievable but then when I read it it is an iridescent lip topper I have got quite a few of these but I haven't tried the ones from Lottie London before and they are brand new so we're gonna give them a go now on first glance these three basically look the same but I've done a bit of detective work underneath my lights and realized that they have all got a different sheen in them actually it's probably picking up there is it I don't know I'm gonna try shade you wish which is a little bit more goldy a little bit of pink iridescence in there as well so let's just see what these look like on obviously it does say that these are lip toppers so you are meant to wear them over um, a lipstick but just to see the real payoff of this, I'm just going to pop it on on its own. Oh my god. What? Okay, this is definitely pink. What is that taste? It's like watermelon. That might just possibly be the best scented or tasting lip product ever. The iridescence is wicked. It's so cool. So this is your pink one. Look at that. <gasps> this is unbelievable. Really? My cousin Sophia would absolutely die for this. Let's swatch these on my hand. So we've got this one here. Can you see the pink? So that is You Wish, which I've just put on my lips. Drop out. Let's see what this comes out like. And then we have Over It, which, let's see. Okay, so they're the three kind of similar colors. Um, but then this one which looks beautiful the shade Sinner and that's more of a bronzy shade okay let's just pop this over the top uh, it's not gonna work let me do it separately <laughs> okay now that's off let's put this back on the scent I can't even explain to you wow oh my god so beautiful literally looks like melted gold I've literally got glitter everywhere this is a little bit drying because you are going to get that matte finish when it does dry down obviously you've still got that iridescence and the glitter but it is a little bit tacky when it starts to dry down it does mean that it's not going to budge it's going to stay there all day for me i prefer to have that glossy lip so i'd probably put a clear gloss over this just to give me a little bit of something something now we have the two <laughs> how did i just manage to do that we have the two neon new lip paints from incredible so this is the real neon lip paint we have the shade she's arrived which if you follow me on instagram you would have seen me wearing this it's blooming amazing but i haven't tried this shade yet which is i'm hot right now so that's your really bright orange now when i say these are neon these are neon i've never tried anything like this before i mean i don't know how they've created a neon color that stays neon on your lips but it looks so cool let's first apply the really neon orange I feel like it's dulling down on camera like this is neon <laughs> I mean it's just crazy they go on really really creamy as you can see it's so bright oh lovely I've got it on my teeth if you are looking for a bright orange you will not fine brighter than this orange i do think that the pink is more wearable and more my favorite but if you love orange i mean damn this is bright let's go into she's <coughs> what's wrong with me let's go into she's arrived which is probably my favorite shade in the whole of this try on lipstick swatching 
This is the coolest lip product I own, I think. It's a little bit clumpy on the inside, so just taking my finger and smoothing that down so I've got the excess on my finger just to make sure that it doesn't go on the teeth. But it is a really, really wearable formula. As I've said before, I really don't like drying lip products, whereas this is quite a comfortable, creamy matte. It's like the most intense bright summer coral I have ever ever seen oh my can you see how neon it is okay let's get the torch on this bad boy yes so freaking cool <gasps> in a club going to Ibiza you look amazing let me know what you think in the comments below and what your favorite product was in this lip swatch haul I love that we've tested a little bit of everything we've got some neons some balms some glitters some foils I mean we've been through a lot um, but I think this is just like I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please a like below and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video beauties bye